thank you both for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Of course. Hey, um, you well. I'm happy to say that I really enjoyed both of your characters in season <laughs> one, uh, especially the egg incident. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> So my question is, what can we expect from season two for both Luke and Alicia, as we're going to have a little bit more time now for character development now that this world is really kind of settled in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take it away, Kevin. Okay, I just Take did this, away. which means that I have to do <laughs> um, No, I, I, I think it's, I think uh, we're going to see, I, I, I've been talking up your arc a lot, uh, uh, definitely a lot, Zena. But like, it, it, like Alicia's growth, and um, not just growth, but like the growth of her career, I suppose, and kind of how that puts into question her own morals and values. On top of that, as she kind of tends to grow in her career, um, she also tends to pull away from her normal, like, not that she has much responsibility due to Luke, but like. Luke certainly would think so, that he's seeing a little bit less of her or that she feels conflicted to have resp other responsibilities elsewhere. There's one specific episode in which um, Luke has devised a game involving tennis and hitting people in the crotch. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and Alicia is, would probably usually be willing to, to play at length, but then you can kind of see that she's torn between, between two aspects of her job. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that in season two, you get a lot more of what everybody loved from season one, especially, you know, between Alicia and Luke. But I think, you know, as Kevin said, you get to see, you get to see kind of us peel back a few more layers, you know, and now that we, now, as you said, Emmanuel, that the, now that the world is understood, we get to really figure out who these characters are. Um, and, you know, we see what Alicia's life is like and, and, and why her growth career-wise, it means a lot to her. Um, and we also, I don't know, we get to not just see Luke as this kind of like sidekick, but almost like there's a certain, you know, level of like understanding and empathy that, that comes with Luke in season two, not just for the audience, but for Alicia mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I, you know, we don't want, obviously don't want to give anything away from season two, but very early on, we see that Alicia is going to have to make decisions over at Horizon um, because of, the, the way things are ran and we already know that it's kind of sketchy. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and I'm very interested in seeing how that, that develops as well as with, with Luke and in the, in the same vein, same episode, just uh, how, how closer he seems also to Nathan. Yeah. It's really interesting, especially as you say it like that, I mean, they like, like Alicia's character and both Luke, they have actually had a very similar relationship with Lakeview and Horizon in that, they're getting what they need out of it. Alicia has a job, so she's getting whatever she needs. She's getting by. She has several jobs, right? But then uh, Luke is feels like he can navigate the system. But then all of a sudden, they're presented. I mean, specifically, Alicia's presented some opportunities to progress in the company. And then you have Luke, who is the opposite, where it's, it seems like they're kind of infiltrating his privacy. So, you know, now they're beginning to uh kind of question how and how you know what what are the actual intentions behind this place so i, I want to know in in preparing your for your roles and, and reading the scripts and and getting ready to be on camera what is it that you both love about your character specifically um <laughs> i i i love that you know when when alicia enters the room you know it's not going to be a boring moment I, 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 I like love that. And I feel like it's the same with Luke. Like, I feel like there's like a certain level of like um, heart and a little bit of deceit and suspense in the show. There's obviously a lot of humor. Um, but I think that the audience knows that the moment Luke and or Alicia get on screen, and especially if they're on together, mm -hmm then it's just it, like th there will not be a dull moment. And I think that it's, I think that it's like so great to be, you know, some of the actors that get to always have those moments. Yeah, there is this just, I think we get the, we get to have like the, um, my wife and I, when we watch stuff sometimes and it's just, it's just fun, we call it candy. It's just mm -hmm. candy. Like it's like, we are, we get to have the candy aspects of this show, you know, but that's just fun. And there are a lot of elements at play 
there's the noir aspect and all that that can be expositional or informative. And while we might have something to do with that, um, it's at least delivered comedically or something. We get we get to do a lot of the fun aspects of the show. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Here's what I love so much about spending a few minutes with both of you is that I was asking specific questions about characters and you each answered for each other's character with Tegman. You guys have very good characters on screen. I love it. I love it. Oh, yes, thank you. Congratulations on the yeah. second season, and I hope to talk to you both again. Uh, thank thanks, you. man. Take care. Thank you, man.